I'm David Broussard with Broussard Farm in Nome, Texas, and this is my John Deere tractor story. We raise about uh, anywhere from four to say 700 acres of organic rice, and we're uh, on the crawfish about the same. We're anywhere from four to say 600 acres on the on the crawfish. My wife's dad was doing it, and uh, I'd go out there with him, and I said, "Man, we can we can make some money." So we bought some seed. You buy what we call seed crawfish, and dump it out there in your rice field. You drain the rice, the water down to cut the crop, then you flood that rice back up and leave that for the crawfish. Uh, when you when you first flood up, you've got to really watch your water quality. If you're not getting rains, uh, the straws rotting in the water. Geese are a problem, nutrirets, beavers. We got beavers out there cutting boards right now. Just, there's a lot to it. You can't just flood it up and hey, I'll be back in a month to, to come check it. Cause you know, it's, if it's your livelihood, you've got to keep, a, somebody has to be here to kind of keep an eye on it. You really can't tell what you're going to catch or how the ponds are going to do. The weather affects you a lot. You know, like I say, we'll, we'll trap probably 500 acres a year or something like that. Everything we catch comes up here to the, what we call the purging tanks, and we uh, keep them in there overnight, and pretty much that's washing them up, what they call purging them. It's, we, just, we sell them real clean. We don't sell them right out of the field. A lot of crawfish in Louisiana are sacked in the boat, and that's delivered right to the restaurant, which we don't send it like that. Ours are real clean, washed up, everything's live that goes in the bag. Uh, we put it in a cooler. If it's in the cooler for say more than two days, we dump it back out, go through it, you know, get the dead ones out. So when you leave here with it, it's a, you know, a very much a live crawfish. This tractor here, we, we use it a lot on a, little small pumps that we pull behind it and run off a of PTO and we can just move it from one pond to the other and aerate the water or move it from one field to the other. Uh, if if the one pond loses water we can bring that pump and you know move it around. We may have crawfish on a pallet here and have them stacked up in a big order and use that to load somebody's truck with. Uh, but it comes in real handy. We, we mow a lot of roads with it. Uh, we don't we're not in the hay business no more but that air conditioned cab's worth worth a lot. I think it's just John Deere is pretty well known for if you need it, they can normally have it there the next day. Now uh shop us it's just you know, they're right down the road from me and uh They've got a store in Beaumont and one in Liberty, and like I say, if, if, if you need it, they don't have it in Liberty, they can find it in Beaumont. If they don't have it there, they'll get it out of, you know, another store and have, normally have it here the next day for us. Parts is, is, is why I think the green has a little bit more resale than a lot of your other tractors is, is on account of the, the get, getting a piece. When it's broke, you can get it back going.